So nested collection lists in Webflow limit us to five items within that nested collection. You can see here, I have some categories for a blog post and it's only showing five. But if I come to my CMS and I go to my blog posts, this post, why we love Webflow, why we love Webflow and you should too, actually has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight categories. And we wanna show those all. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do that using FinSuite's attributes CMS nest solution. Hey there, Webbay. All right, let's start from the docs. Come down here. Step number one is to copy the script into the head of our page. So I'm gonna press this copy script button, come back to Webflow. And I'm working on the home page here, so I'm gonna drop it right there. Inside the head tag, boom, there we got it. Save that. And let's proceed to step two. Step two is implement in Webflow. And now we have to start applying some attributes and styling our page how they tell us to. So the very first one right here, list, I want this collection list to have the next nested collection list. And so they give us an attribute here with the value of list. And in their example, they say you have one that they are calling their parent list, which in our case is going to be blog posts, and then the child list, which will be categories. And there's an important note here that in the collection item, it's required to have a link that's connected to the CMS template page for that item. And this needs to be either the wrapper for the whole thing or as the first list. I'm gonna use it as the wrapper for the whole thing, but this is important. I wanted to read the whole thing just to make sure that you're not having like a read more button at the bottom. So that's one place you could mess this up. But I'll copy that attribute and come back to our collection list, the parent collection list in this case. And we're gonna add a custom attribute. I'm gonna zoom in, plug that name in, and this is called list, and then zoom out. And now we need to drop our link block in there. You can see I have a collection item and then the heading, the paragraph and our nested collection list. What I'm gonna do is just drag a link block right in here and I'm gonna nest heading two in there and the paragraph and then this link block, I want it to not look ugly. So I'm gonna do that and then, I don't know, select some, sure, why not? Uh, so that's good and we need to make sure it links to the current blog post. So boom, zoom it in. That is now linking to the current blog post, which is gonna go to our blog post template page, correct? All right, so I think that's enough to satisfy step number two here, or step three, whatever one it is. And then it's got a sub-step, nest collection here. I want this div block to be where the nested collection goes. So let's open that. This div will be removed and replaced with the child collection list. This is where the child collection list will be added inside the parent. And it must include the CMS item of the list element. And then we also add an identifier to match this element to a collection. So we need two attributes and we need a new element. So CMS nest element, and let's go ahead, let's see. So we need to drop in a div block, it said. So I'm gonna drop in an empty div right here. And this is the one that's going to get the attributes. So first attribute is CMS nest element. And I think it was nest target. Yeah, we'll just copy that and come back here and paste. And so that is applied. And then we need to add an identifier as well. So I'll copy that, come here and my identifier. And then we'll just call this categories like that. Okay, and I think that completes this step. So we'll close that up. And collection to nest, I want this collection list to be nested to be the nested collection list. So this is our child. Uh, this collection list can be anywhere on the page. It will be removed from its location and added to the CMS item of the parent list. We'll replace the target div that we just made. Do not set it display to none. Uh, da, 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 okay. And I think it needs a link as well. Let's make sure. In the collection item, it is required to have a link that is connected to the CMS template page. See screenshot graphic below. It is not required for the link to be clickable or visible to the user. The only requirement is that we have that link. So I'm gonna copy this attribute, but you can see I have this nested collection here, but we wanna pull it out of the out of the item. So let's go ahead and we wanna unlink this, but it's locked. So I need to remove the text from the tag first. And now I can say none. I'm just doing this so that I can keep the styling. And we'll drag it out now to outside of our page. Actually, we can have it inside of the page, but we want it as a sibling of section, but we'll have it down here below. So let's actually tie this back into our categories. And we will update our text to be the category name, just like that. And so now we have all of our categories and we need to add our attribute to the list. 
So I'm coming down here, zoom in for you, attribute, and what was the attribute value is nest source. So let's grab that and put nest source there. And there's another attribute that we have to add our identifier to. Again, remember it was categories, so I'm going to copy that, add another attribute, and say categories. Okay. All right, so it looks like I forgot to add the link block to the categories. So we'll go ahead and grab the link block here and chuck it in there. And I want the tag to be right under it. And we will send it to the current category. Zoom back out there. I think we're done with this step. Now collection on template. I have to add this collection list on the CMS template page of the primary content list. Uh, which we were also calling the parent, so in our case, the blog page. It's a required step, do not miss it. Look at the visual closely, watch the video walkthrough. Uh, this child collection list will be hidden on the CMS template page of your parent collection list. So in this case, blog post, like I said, is our parent. And it's just getting, it's getting two attributes. And I think we need a link on this one too. In the collection list, it is required to have a link that is connected to the CMS template page. See screenshot graphic below. So I don't think we need to style this one actually, because it's going to be hidden anyways. So let's go, I'm going now to the blog post template page. And I haven't done anything on this page yet, but just so we can identify it, let's tie our heading or title to it. And now we're going to drag that collection list in here. And the source, we want this to be from categories. And notice I'm selecting the blog post fields, the categories in there. This is how CMS is going to know which categories are assigned to which post. And it said I needed a link, so let's just drag a link block in there, and we will link it to the current category, I guess. And that goes right in there. And we'll get the text, the name from there. So now we have our categories. Let me make sure it's connected to the CMS template page. See screenshot graphic below. Yep, so these are the categories and it goes to the current category. So that should be right. And I need to apply some attributes to this thing. So on the list, we'll apply template reference. So coming back to our list. Paste. Come back to the documentation, copy this one. Paste. All right, and then we also need to add the categories here. So copy that paste and we'll call this categories and zoom out and I don't want to have multi nested and this caching optimization is just a little nice uh, FYI so let's come back to our home page and publish and see if we got this right all right and there we have our categories populating hey if the video helps be sure to like and subscribe and I'm going to show up two other videos that you might find useful. So be sure to check those out and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.